Okay, everything should be up now. So we're just going to hang out for a minute as usual and wait for that number to change. If anyone's in the chat and can hear me and see me, just mention something so I know we're at least online that much. Hopefully the audio is better this time around than it was last time. I kept having issues with it, so I ended up having to add some filters and a gain for my audio for my microphone for whatever reason. It worked fine prior to last stream, but for some reason my computer's decided it doesn't want to cooperate anymore. So, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Just have to see what happens. See how it sounds. <clears throat> jump over to my other window here for just a second for just to message a couple people really quick while I'm waiting for everyone else to join. <laughs> I'm just going to give it another minute or so here. I've been up for just about three minutes now, but it usually takes a while for that to update, so I'm going to give it just another minute here or so, or less. I don't know how many people I'm going to have on today. Oh, there's five. Hey, what do you know? Cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, as usual, I'm going to be starting with our bosses. So this one here is a reused boss. This is a... I can't remember what it was called originally. I hate when, I wait when Windows does this. <laughs> Freaks it out. So this is a boss we've seen before. It's a reskin of a previously used boss. I think this one is water and fire, I think. And then this one here is a new boss, which is water and air. Um, so that's the two raids, which is not surprising. Water, air, water, water, fire. So those are the two bosses. So this is the first one, as you can see. This is a boss that's been used before. So this is water and fire. So that's a boss that's a uh, reuse. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> uh, so this is boss number one. And boss number two. All right. Now we'll take those guys out of there really quick and drop them in here. Whoops, wrong one. Wrong folder. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we're going to get into the armors. Now there are, of course, going to be reskins, um, which I'm sure some of you may have already seen. Um, Clutch, against my wishes, released his own sheet, but he has not been a very popular person around lately that I've seen, so... Maybe he was doing it out of spite. I don't know. Anyway, so this is a chest. This is uh, the first um, thing we have in here. This is actually the largest image that I've seen in quite a while. 236 kilobytes, which is pretty big considering the armor images are around 100 or less. So anyway, this is the chest. Looks like we have some kind of like octopus theme here with uh, like an octopus sort of little guy there at the end. Um, and there's also a key later on in the files for this same chest. So this is just a chest. So we're just going to rename this one right now as chest. So we have that already separated. Now we have our first armor. This is a reskin. Um, this is from season, I want to say four or five. Um, it was a water season anyway. This was originally water and spirit. It's now water and earth. So this is armor one. That is, a, I think, the female. 
that's uh, final evolution. Oops, I forgot the water elements here. Water, earth. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so that's the first one. And there's the male version, so that makes it easy immediately after. And then we have the second reskin. This is actually a combination of two armors, so it's a kind of a combo reskin. So it has the armor and the um, basically everything except for the helmet are from the, I think it was called Wildwood Guard originally, and then it was Wildwood Eternal, and there's been other names for it since then. But it has this helmet. This actually is the ascended version. I think that's the female, I think. Uh, but that's the, uh, but it was originally, um, this armor and weapon and everything were all, you know, the same armor except they have a new head on it now. So this is armor two, and this is um, water and fire. This is one of the two raid armors, by the way. Um, so this is, I think that's female. Pretty sure, anyway. And that is the other raid armor. As you can see, we have this kind of this mesh sort of thing at the bottom of the face and the chest. It matches up to the boss. So this is our second raid armor. So that's the two raid armors right there two and three. So that's water, air, and that is male. Oops. Capitalize that. There we go. And then we have the female. This is a step down on this one here. I need to make this a bit wider so I can read this properly. So this is not ascended. That's the step down from ascension. And then we have this one here, which is fire, <coughs> water, fire. Pretty sure this is going to be a, a fusion armor. Um, so this is water and fire fusion. So this is the on element fusion armor, because we usually have two each month, one that doesn't match up to that month's elements and one that does. This is the one that does. So this is most likely fusion. Water, fire, and that's male, I'm pretty sure, as well. Here is a water and spirit. I have looked through these already, you know, once before, and I'm sure any of you have seen the, the sheet that Clutch released. It's also on there. I think, let me see here, one, two, three, four? Yeah, four water fires. One, two water earths, one, two water spirits, one, two um, water airs, and then of course our dual water. So there's five, two, 11 total armors. So there is a, an event coming up most likely in this, in this as well. So anyway, this is water and spirit. I'm thinking this is probably going to be um, a war armor, probably, just based on the looks of it. So this is armor five, water spirit, that is male. And the next one, yeah, this is the, the male of that same very first armor, but not ascended. There's the, actually, that might actually be the, oh, maybe that is the female. Maybe I, maybe I am right on that one. I thought maybe it was, the, it was the, the male at the top there, but maybe that is, in fact, the female. And here is one of the two event armors. This is also water and fire. This is the golden, quote-unquote, version. So this is going to be water, um, armor number six. Water and fire, and that is the male of the golden version. And then we have a water and air. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a seasonal. I'll give my predictions, of course, toward the end, but this is just kind of, while, while I'm going through this, I'm just going to kind of um, say what I think they are as I go. But I'll give a final prediction toward the end. Uh, this is the female of that water and air, I want to say. Yeah. Whoops. No, don't do that. So this is the female of the same one. And that is the female of the water and spirit right here. And then we have the female of the water and fire. I think it was, no, sorry, wrong one. This one right here. No, there's going to be, a, this is going to cause me some confusion today because there's so many water and fire in here. There's four in total. It's just going to mess me up as I go. <laughs> just going to have to deal with it, I guess. So this one is the male, I am pretty sure of that raid armor up at the top. So number two, yeah. So this is the male version of that one, but this is the ascended version. There's our regular quote unquote version of the event armor. So that's armor number eight, water fire. And that's the, actually no, I think I got that wrong. I think this one up here is actually the male, not the female, because it waists a little bit narrower. So this is actually the male. And then this one's the female. There we go. Much better. Okay. Moving on. There is the raid armor, which is, I think, this one? Yeah. So this is the male, but one step down from ascension. There is the water and fire golden one. Yep, that's the right one. Okay, good. So this is the female version of that one. 
Bling. Okay, um, and that one is the Water and Fire number four, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not, not gonna have a hard time with this. <clears throat> okay, so that's the male of that one, but one step down from Ascension. There's our Water and Spirit, which I think was this one, I wanna say? Yeah. Yep. so that's that one, that's the male, but one step down. Try to get through these a little quicker than I normally do, because oh, I hate when Windows does this. There. So that's the male, but one step down, I think. Yeah. Yep. So that's unascended. And here's our Water and Spirit. I think this is the seasonal one. Pretty sure. Um, so this is Water and Spirit, but this is the female. Whoops. This is going to be number nine, Water Spirit. That's the female, because you can see just the waist is much narrower there. So there's that one. There's the the golden female. So that's this one here, I think. Nope, that's regular. I don't want that one. It's the... It's this one. No, sorry, that is the right one. Looking at the wrong, wrong one here. This is just the female version of that one. Okay, sorry. Okay, and then we have our male base up here of this very first one. The base level one look of it. Then we have armor number three, I want to say. Yep. So this is the female, but one step down from ascension. <laughs> That's not the whole reason why I'm, I'm seriously debating leaving. It's not just him. Um, it's been an ongoing thing for quite a while. It's not like a recent development. It's been going on for probably about two years now. Just basically the the simplest way of putting it is I'm, I'm getting negativity and attitude and just general rudeness from a lot of people in the community. It's not just the one person or even just one situation. It's been ongoing for years now, for at least a couple anyway. Armor 10, Water Earth. This is, I think, the seasonal Water Earth. That's male, I think. Anyway, it's not just the one thing. It's been multiple things compounding over time. That's the same one. This is female, and this is armor. And I'm just going to use that because I already had it saved <laughs> in my copy and paste. So there's our water and spirit again, but this is the... That's a step down from ascension, but that looks like male, so that's kind of strange. But Anyway, it's not just, it's not just that. It's not just that one thing. Okay, now we're getting back into these guys. The confusing ones. So this is, yeah, so this is the male, but one step down from Ascension. Uh, there's the female base of the very first one. There's the female of the water and air. I want to say it's this one? No. Of course not. First try. <laughs> yeah, it's that one. And what does is being done with the images. Okay, so this is the female one of that one. There is our water and fire number four. Yes, good, got it right, okay. So that is the, I'm pretty sure that's the female one. Could be wrong though. And of course, if I make a mistake, I can always fix it later. So there's our female of the golden one, which I think was number four. No, of course not. Number six, that's right, number six. So this is the female of this one. There's our water air, which I think is this one, yeah. Um, so this is the male, whoops, one step down. That's the female, one step down, easy enough. There's our water and spirit up toward the top, I want to say it's this one, yep. So this is the female of that one, one step down. There's our uh, seasonal water spirit, and that one is the male ascended. There's our dual water for all of you who are waiting. Oh, the golden? Yeah. That's a cool looking weapon. So this is our dual water exclusive for any of you who haven't seen the sheet yet. That's, that's, what, it, that's what it looks like. So now you know if you didn't already. Um, so this is our dual water exclusive. <clears throat> and that is the male, I'm pretty sure. Armor 11. Yes, it is in fact the last armor. <laughs> 
strangely enough. Um, and there's the female of it, so let's copy that. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Typo. There we go. Okay, and then we have the, I want to say this is number eight. Yeah, number eight, that is the base of that one, male, I believe. Yeah, looks like it. And then we have the base of the water and fire fusion, which I think is this one. Yeah, I think it's that one. Yeah. So there's the base of that one. Male. Base. And there's the ba female base. Handy dandy. Okay. Alright, then we have very, very top one. We have the water and f the water and earth um, reskin. Did I rename all these wrong? I did, didn't I? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. Yeah, I, I just I labeled all these wrong. These are actually the water and fires. I gotta I gotta go back through these and rename these. So that one's correct. Whoops, wrong button. That one's correct. This one's wrong because this is the water and fire. This is the um. Let's see, this is water and fire number two. I'm just gonna whoops. I'm just gonna rename that one correctly really quick. And then I think I did this one as well. That one's correct. And this one's wrong. Yeah, that one's the female base of armor number two. There we go. I think that's right now. Okay. Because <laughs> I was labeling them wrong. I was labeling armor number two as number one and vice versa. So here we go. So this one is the... I'm pretty sure that's that's male. It looks like it to me. So this is the water and earth male base. That reskin. A very, very old reskin, actually. Like I said, I think it was season three or four, something like that. I can't remember now, but it's been a while ago, anyway. Well, it's that's that's the part that is kind of where I'm kind of, you know, I haven't really made up my mind yet because I do get more positive responses than negative responses. Don't you know? Don't misunderstand. But my problem is that I get there's so much negativity. It's hard to see the positive, so it's not that I don't I don't you know appreciate everyone that's very positive to me. I don't. It's definitely not the case. The issue I have is just there's so much negativity that it's hard to see the positive some days, and it's hard to even you know want to even get online some days because it's just you're I'm expecting to see more of the same, and frequently I do. I just get more of the same kind of negativity and general kind of assholishness. I guess is the best way to describe it. I just get a lot of people that just really don't like me for whatever reason. I don't know why. I've, you know, there's some people that I have, you know, justifiably, you know, upset about something or other. Is this the right one? Oh, I'm sorry. I labeled that one wrong. This is actually the female. <laughs> Try that again. Um, but there are some people that just for whatever reason just have it out for me. And some of them, I mean, there's justifiable reasons. I've been, you know, kind of short with them or I've kicked them off the Discord or whatever for being jerks. But, I mean, there's some of it that's it's understandable and the rest of it just doesn't make any sense. They're just, just rude and, you know, generally asshole-ish. Like I said, it's kind of the best way to describe it for no obvious reason. People that have not had really any interaction with me at all in the years I've been playing have been just, you know, caustic, I guess. Um, caustic is probably the best way to describe it because they're just, they're just rude for the sake of being rude. And they're, you know attacking me and calling me names and all that other immature crap for the sake of doing it, uh, just to get a rise out of me. Which, on occasion, does, you know, does get a rise out of me, but on most occasions I'm just kind of like, what's the point of you even bothering? You're just wasting your time. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's not really like I could stop them from doing it. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm honestly not really sure what's going to happen. Um, at this point, I'm just going to basically wait until the end of the month and see how I feel, and if I feel like I want to continue doing it, I'll continue doing it. If I feel like it's just not worth my trouble, not worth the stress, I may just stop. And if I do, um, there are, you know, some that, you know, like, for example, Clutch can get access to the files just as easily as I can. That's not really a, an issue. Um, but the stat sheets, the, you know, wiki updates, the Discord, well, Discord I can, I can hand off easily enough. No more Reddit, no more um, KND bot, no more anything. It just stops, basically, at that point. Anyway, 
I don't want to sit here and just gripe my whole stream, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> uh, so this is water, fire, water, earth, excuse me. This is, I think, the male. I'm pretty sure that's the male. Looks like it. Okay, so this is going to be the male base. And there's our dual water. That's one step down from ascension. That is male. Oops. There's our water and spirit down here at the bottom. That is, I think, the male base base, pretty sure. There's our water and air raid armor up here at the top, which I think was this one. Yeah. Yeah, well, you have a point, but he has been helpful, and I've told him as much. I told him, I, mean, I said, I have no issue with you being helpful, and he has been helpful on more than a few occasions when people ask questions and whatnot, but it's just... Actually, that is the female. Sorry, I have to fix this really quick. Um, he has been helpful, and he has been, you know, around to help people with questions they have, and that's never been a problem for me. It's just, he's just unhelpful, you know, often enough that it just kind of, you know, turns everyone off to even wanting to ask him anything because he's just like, I don't want to do it right now, or I don't feel like it, you know, which, okay, if you feel that way, just tell people, I don't want to do it right now, or, you know, whatever the case is. And, you know, tell them I'm not doing it right now, or I don't, I don't feel like it or whatever, just be straightforward and tell people what's going on, and he just refuses to. So, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what else to say about that. He's he's doing what he's doing, and there's not really much I can do about it. And you know, It's his decision to make at this point, and I'm not going to try to force him or coerce him into doing something else. It's not really my place or really any of my business, frankly, what he does. I did politely ask him to not do what he did, and he did it anyway, so... Not much I can do about it now. As the expression goes, it's water under the bridge. Not much I can do about it now. Wait, what? Oh, did I? I mislabeled that one. Hang on. Oh yeah, that's actually that's actually not the one I labeled it as. <laughs> this one is actually not the base. This is uh, this is the one step down from ascension. Oops, I mislabeled that one. Right armor, wrong wrong type. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> now we have our cape. Am I already done? entirely possible. I am. No, I'm still missing some. So there's our cape. This looks like these couple of fishes opposite each other. And then we have this image here where you can see it kind of on the on the body or that dummy looking thing. I think I've still got some armors left in here unless I missed something. No, I apparently have not. So there's... I'm still missing one, I think. Let me look here. So water and earth. Yep, that one's good. Water and fire. Water and air. Water and fire. Yeah, those all look good. Huh, maybe it's just farther down in the files and I just haven't gotten to it yet. I just, I just didn't see it. Looks like I've got everything except for the female base of the dual water, but that's fine, I can get to it eventually. Okay, so we have 67, 68, okay, so 67 to 69 are all the cape. 67 to 69, right? Oh, I didn't label that one, that's what I'm missing. Oh, okay. Hang on. Wait a minute, what did I do? Did I label the wrong one? No. Well, that's the water spirit. Oops, that's not the right one. This needs to be the... I think I did label a couple of these wrong. Yeah, I did. There's the female right there. Oh, that's the male base. Hang on, I've jacked myself up. Hey, Ice-T, welcome. Um, I think I messed up here. Yeah, I did. This is actually the male base of the dual water. And that's the female base. Okay, let me copy that. This is actually the female. And then this one up here, yeah, that's the nail right there. Okay, fixed. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't name this one at all. That was my problem. I got confused on what I was doing. So this is the water and earth base of the female, I think. No, this is one I, I mislabeled. This one. This one's actually belongs right above it. So this is the female of this one here. So this is armor number nine, water spirit. There we go. And then this one here is that one. There we go. Hello, hello, and welcome. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go to here. So we have Cape is 67 to 69. Make a new folder here. And then this one here is the actual, whoops, is it 67? Or 69, there we go. That's the actual image. Okay. All right. 
Now let's go on to the heads. So this is the water and air raid armor, which I think is armor number three, I want to say. Yes. Cool. All right. I hate that it does that. Okay. So 70 is the head. This one is 11. Water, water. That's the head for the exclusive. And then we have the water and earth, which I think was this one. Yes. Groovy. Whoops, I typoed that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then we have the water and air, which I think was this one. Yes. Remembering correctly, it's the it's the event armors that are messing with messing with me. Okay, and there's one of our pets. Looks kind of like a, a manta ray, kind of with a weird head on it. Um, so that's one of them. There's the water and fire. Yeah. Um, so this is the water and fire. I'm pretty sure it's fusion armor. I think it's, nope, sorry, not, not six, four. Yeah, four. So this is four. Oops. Oh, mislabeled the wrong one there. Okay, there's our golden, which I want to say was six. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> I do get it right on occasion. Don't hold me to that, though. <laughs> okay, I must find the... Nope, I, was, I did get that wrong. Damn it. <laughs> All right, see ya. Thanks for joining. All right, so I did get that one wrong. It's, in fact, not number six. That's actually number eight. Oops, let me just copy this really quick, and then I can just copy it over to the other one. It's actually number eight. There we go. So number 80 is the is the is the regular version, not the golden version. Okay, I just wanted to get those two out of the way really fast while I was on that topic. Okay, so we have pet. <coughs> so there's. I'm gonna guess that the dark one is the primal, and that's the regular. Don't know, just a guess. Okay, then we have this guy, which is our water and fire up here at the top, which is our reskin combo which is number 78. And then we have our water and spirit up toward the top, which is this one right here, I think. Yep. So this is most likely war. Uh, that's number 81. Pet, there's our water and spirit down toward the bottom, which is most likely the seasonal water and spirit, which is 83. I'm just skipping all the pets for now, coming back to them later. There's our very first one, which is Water and Earth, which is a reskin. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. Buckethead is what most people usually refer to it as. Pet, 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 blah, blah, blah. We're getting into rings and amulets. Okay, I guess that's it. All right, cool. All right, let's get these pets out of the way now. So we have 74... Seventy-four straight through to ninety-eight. Seventy-four to ninety-eight. There's most of them, and then there's probably one or two more. One hundred. One hundred and one hundred one. Okay. So if that's all of them, there should be twenty, and there are twenty. Sweet. Okay. Let me quickly label these so I don't forget where I'm at here. So let me see if we find one of the heads. So this one is most likely tier five. That's tier four. Actually, no, maybe not. So I'm gonna label this one really quick. So this is 84 tier five regular, I think, pretty sure. And then that's probably tier three. We'll do 85 as tier three. And then 89 is tier 4, I think. And then 88 is tier 2. And 90 is tier 1. Ta-da! Now we go into the primals. So this is the tier 5 primal, which is number 191. Primal. 
These are in order. Handy dandy. Okay. So 93 is tier 4 primal. Whoops, I labeled that wrong. Wrong key. There we go. So that one is uh, 94. It's going to be a tier 3 primal. Whoops. I keep hitting the, the shift on my keyboard when I don't need to. 95 is tier 2 primal. And 96 is tier 1 primal. Again, I'm pretty sure that's what they're, what they're going to be. So let me close this really quick. I want to go through these one by one and just make sure that they look right. 1, tier 1, tier 1 primal. No, that's wrong. Oh, okay. I have tier 2 and tier 1 reversed on the regular. Let's relabel those really quick before I move on. Okay. Try this again. So there's tier 1 regular, tier 1 primal, tier 2 regular, tier 2 primal. They don't quite look right to me. I have that one right. I have those two out of order too, I think. So I have tier 5 correct. I think I have tier 4 and tier 3 reversed on the regular. Yep, I do. Hey, Nifsu, welcome. Um, yeah, I have tier 3 and tier 4 backwards, too. So this is actually tier 3. This is tier 4. There we go. I think that's right now. Okay, so there's the pets. That's done. Um, let me go back to here. And now we got to go through rings and amulets and all the other miscellaneous stuff. So this one is the reskin at the very, very top. Water and Earth right here. That's the original ring that went with this one. I think, yeah. So this was a seasonal, I think season four, season five, something like that. It was a water season anyway. So this is the ring for that one. I'm gonna quickly grab the amulet, which is right there, 104. There we go, okay, that's out of the way. Back to here. So this is, I'm assuming, going to be one of the materials for the event. Looks kind of like a couple little sea anemones, if you know what those are. That's uh, one of the materials. We're gonna call this one other material one, just so we get it out of the way. I'm assuming that's another one. Whoops. Other material two. Now we have an amulet for our water and air raid armor, which is number three, I believe. Yeah. That's that one right there. I may just look through the files and find the uh, ring for it too while I'm at it, just to make it a little bit easier. That's not it. There it is right there, 108. That's the ring. Okay, I gotta go back up to the top though because I, I missed the T on amulet. <laughs> I noticed that as soon as I hit enter, but I didn't want to stop what I was doing. Okay, now we have a ring. That's water and spirit, I'm pretty sure. Is it this one? No, it's the other water and spirit. Oh, maybe not. Oh, hang on. I think that might be the dual water now that I look at it. Oh, I hate when you do that, Windows. Stop that. Yeah, it's this one. It has the little the little, uh, little uh, dial right there, the crank, and then it also has the same things as on the elbow there. Okay, so that's actually the dual water. So this is armor 11 ring. Maybe I should look for the amulet too while I'm at it. And I think that's it right there. Yep, that's it right there. Handy. Okay, 109 is the amulet, so that's done. Okay, cool. Back to here again. So that is our reskin at the very top as well. This one here, the water and fire, that's a combo reskin. That's the amulet for that one. And we'll find the ring right there, 112. Okay, that's most of them. Well, half of them-ish. So there's our key for the chest at the very beginning. We'll just type off this key. Then we have our amulet for our water spirit up here, I believe it is. It looks just like a shield. So that's an easy one. Uh, 111, the amulet. Now let's just see if I can find the shield or the ring for it. Is that it right there, maybe? That might be it, let me look. Lux, it, might, it might not be the right color scheme. No, I don't think that's it. I think this goes with the other water spirit. No, it's not that one. We'll keep going. 
That's it right there, I think. Has the same kind of wings across the top of the chest, yeah. So that's that one right there. So that's armor number five. Armor number five's amulet, which is number 119. There we go. Okay, cool. I'm just kind of doing these piecemeal so I can get them all done. So this is one of the event amulets, because the one immediately after it looks just like it. If I can zoom in here, it'll let me. Yeah, so it's almost impossible to tell this, but if I zoom in, that's the regular. And if I zoom in on the, on the golden one, if it'll let me, that's the golden one. So it's just slightly more gold than the original. So this one is the golden one, which is 113, which I believe is number 8. Is that right? No, 8 is the... Stop it, Windows? Dumb thing. It's just some graphical glitch. That's regular. Okay, so the armor number 6 then. So that's the 6, which is golden, quote-unquote. Amulet. And then the very next one down... Close it again, because Windows is being dumb. Flooding in the Netherlands, I live around the center, so I got spared. Oh, that's good. Good to hear. So that's the... Um, so this 114 is number 8 instead. Amulet. I'm going to grab the other two really quick, because they're going to look exactly the same too. And there they are. Okay, so this one is regular, which is 8. 124, which is 8 ring, and the one before it is golden, which is 123. Ta-da! So there's the event stuff out of the way. I've just got to figure out the remainder. So this is the water and air, which I'm pretty sure is our seasonal. I think it's this one. Yep. Looks just like the shield. Let's see if I can find the ring. That might actually be the ring for it. I'm going to look, though. Maybe that's it right there, actually. That might be it. Hard to tell for sure. Yep, that looks just like that one. It's the same kind of color scheme where it has mostly whites and kind of blues and with a little bit of color thrown into, into the mix. So that looks like that belongs there. So this is going to be our ring, 121, for that armor. Okay. Now we got this guy, which I think this probably goes with our fusion armor, which is number four, I believe. So this has the same kind of color scheme and has the same sort of like, you know, shapes and stuff to it. So it looks a lot like the shield actually in a lot of ways. So that is armor number four. That's the ring for that one. And I'm going to quickly jump through these and just find the amulet, which should not be long after. Probably right there. <laughs> that makes it easy. And I'll go to here, and that's the amulet. Ta-da. Okay. Zoom back out, move over. So this one is probably going to be our water spirit down here at the bottom. Wow, that's not good at all. I know a few people who are in the who are in the Netherlands, and that's not good. I think that goes with this one. It has the same kind of spikes coming off of the helmet and off of the shield, and off the shoulders. Yeah, looks like that one. So there's our ring for that one, which is 118. And then we go down in here and we move over to the. No, that's not it. That's the amulet for it. So 125 is the amulet. Water fire for the element or for the elements for the event, yeah. Both water fire. Okay, so this is one of my only remaining ones, which is I think this water earth right here. Yep, that would be it. Cool. So there is the ring for that one, which is 120. And then the amulet is right next to it makes it easier. Come on, click in there, you dumb thing. Thank you. And then I think the last three are just going to be materials. Yep, so there's a, a starfish. Yeah, the last two look like more kind of standard quote-unquote materials, so these are like exclusive and, and, and regular. Um, so those are probably just regular materials. So this is going to be other material three. And this is SF61 material one and SF2. Or material two, excuse me. Ta-da! Okay, so now we're going to take all of these miscellaneous things. Head, ring, amulet, all the other miscellaneous images. And move 
move them into my other folder so I can start assembling these puppies and doing sheet copy and paste. Ta-da! So there's that. And now we can go into here and start assembly. So one, two, actually I'm going to do females this time. Why not? Female, female, female. So there's our first six. Edit. With the armor like from like six or seven. Yeah, um, season, I want to say season 54, I think, was when the ultimate was, or the next ultimate was in it. Yeah, and it, it is definitely the next ultimate. If that's what you were asking, which I think it was. So if that's what you're asking, yes, it is the next ultimate. Um, it is, it kind of has that kind of more water spirity sort of look to it, but yes, I can confirm that is the next ultimate. So this one is the female, and for whatever reason, the female doesn't actually have the fully enclosed face. I don't know why. It just doesn't. Oops. Oh, I did two first. Oops, I'm going to do this one first. I, I skipped one. <laughs> We're going to do the female of this one, which does have a slightly different face from the male as well. I'm going to move this actually over here so I don't get confused. <clears throat> so we're going to go here. So the face is slightly different on the female version of this one compared to the male. It's not a huge difference, but it is a difference. <clears throat> but it does have these massive, like, spiky things coming out of the top. This, if I remember correctly, is a huge armor, just in terms of the size of it. Um, it's just a humongous armor. There we go. And then we got the legs, which right there. I did like the look of this armor when it first came out. Like I said, it was like season, I want to say season 3 or season 4, season 5, something like that. Female armor has less coverage. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> so there is the female of that one. There we go. Um, but yeah, this one, there it's actually not that common. A lot of armors, other than the, the kind of the general size, like height-wise, um, are generally identical in looks to the male version. But there's just these subtle differences here and there. Like this one has a slightly different head, and that's about it. And it has a slightly different chest plate, but it's identical in every other way. Um, and then there's other ones that are vastly different. It just depends on the armor. But most of them, sadly, are identical in every way, other than just being slightly shorter and having a slightly different breastplate. This one has a different face as well, which is unique to some of them. That massive shield right about there. And then we have this massive blade. Looks like a hatchet on crack. Or an axe on crack, I guess you could call it. There's that. You can kind of throw that on top of there. Ta-da. I need to kind of clean up this edge because it's bleeding over into the armor a little bit. There we go. And then grab the rest of the handle, which is over here. And most of it's going to be hidden behind the, the body, but that's okay. I know it's there, and that's what's important to me. <laughs> like about like so. Ta-da! <clears throat> so that one is, if memory serves, this is one of the larger armors in the game, as far as side to side anyway. Not the biggest, but close to it. If I remember correctly, it's pretty massive. How wide are we here? What's the widest point? 333. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty big. <laughs> that's a big armor. Kind of get that centered in there a little bit. Okay. So now we got to go to my pictures folder. This is armor number one. Water Earth. Oops, sorry. Female. Okay, now I can do this one. But yeah, for some reason this one just has a different head, like more different than the other one. Like there just isn't a face covering on this one, which usually they have some kind of face covering or it's either all or nothing with most of the armors, but this one for whatever reason has just that opening there, but the male does not. So that's another example of them being slightly different. But more, more often than not, they're only just slightly different in height with a very, very slight variation to the chest plate. fun live streams. <laughs> if you say so, dude. If you say so. Uh, there we go. There is the arm. So 
there's that one before I add anything else to it so you can kind of see it. Kind of didn't really pause on the last one. And this one's shield is up rather than being forward. Yeah, this is a reskin. It's a kind of a combo reskin. It's, um, I want to say it's, was it Wildwood Guard or something like that? The original armor? Something like I can't remember what it was now, but maybe it was, um, no, sorry, it was Dragon Void, Dragon Void War Gear. Sorry, I was getting the two confused. This is Dragon Void War Gear with the head from the, um, there was a Shadow Forged version of it, but it's originally, this is a Dragon Forged armor. Yeah, it's Harmonic, yeah. Originally it was Harmonic. And then they did another one called the Maelstrom Liar Shield, something like that. It was a Dragon Forged. It was just the same armor with a ring and amulet set later. And then it was reused again as a Shadow Forged armor um, for a war, I think. So it has been used actually three times, the, the, the uh, Harmonic, I mean. Um, but yeah, it's, so it is the same armor. But this is just the head of that one armor with the Dragon Void War Gear underneath it. So, yeah. This is going to go right about y'all. Yeah, it's a cool sword. The Dragon Void actually was one of my favorite armors from back in that time frame. Because it just had a cool look to it. It had this kind of like winged shield and the weapon had these like weird kind of spiky bits going around the outside of it. Just a cool looking armor. <clears throat> Not sure what I think about the harmonic head on it though. Eh, whatever. <laughs> this is not too bad. It's about 300. About the average width on most armors is about 300. There are some that are narrower, of course, but this is the average. Okay. <clears throat> now we have our raid armor number two, which is a brand new armor. It lo does kind of look similar to one that came out for uh, this month, for July, which has not appeared anywhere, and haven't, I haven't heard anything about it. But it's... Um, it kind of has some similarities to that one, but this one's clearly based on the raid, the raid boss that's for this month. So it's obviously for that, but it looks kind of similar to that one in a lot of ways. Let me, let me put the armor together really quick and then I'll show you what I mean. Kind of like that. Yeah, there we go. Looks pretty good. Then we have this. Whoops, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm still working on it. Don't close it. Just try to switch. Okay, so this is going to go right about there. Where's the other arm? There it is. Top right corner. So frequently in the top right corner. I don't know why that is. I need to actually clean up the bottom, bottom edge of this foot. No, I don't. Never mind. I thought it needed to be cleaned up. It looked like it had a little bit of an edge that needed blending. It does not. So never mind. So there's that one. So let me quickly switch gears here. I'm going to jump over to my my data mine folder here where I have all my images and I'm gonna open this one up so if I maximize this and kind of zoom in on that guy and then I alt, alt tab back whoops back to here it's not exactly the same of course but there are some similarities especially in the face shape like it has kind of that cartoony sort of face this one does as well um, but I mean it's obviously different in a lot of ways but <clears throat> just that head kind of is similar to me it has kind of this more like what's the name of that guy um, he was in a cartoon years ago. I'm going to date myself by saying this, but the original, I think it was He-Man cartoon from back in the 80s, there was a guy that had this sim similar looking face to this. He was like a wizard. But yeah, this is... Um, <clears throat> tried to play some music in the background to suppress the white noise. Um, no, I haven't, um, because frequently I'm talking enough that there isn't really a need for it, but the problem is, is most of the music I listen to is copyrighted, and I can't play it in the background. <laughs> Besides, it would probably just be more distracting in the background, at least for me anyway, because I'd want to sing along with it and stuff. So that would probably not be good, <laughs> per se, for the for a live stream. Um, but if it was music I had, you know, like prior authorization from the creator to play, then yeah, it wouldn't be a problem. But most of the music I listen to is is copyrighted, and I don't want to I don't want to get in trouble <laughs> either on Twitch or on YouTube when I eventually upload this there. But yeah, I have thought about it, but I think it would just be more distracting honestly. But I try to I try to talk often enough that it's not just dead air. So, I don't know. Your mileage may vary. It's just how I how I feel about it anyway. But yeah, anyway, I wanted just to kind of point out this this armor and kind of the similarities between it and the other one. So, it's actually you can see it now a little bit better. The weapons kind of in a similar sort of angle because a lot of the weapons will be kind of like like this as opposed to this. 
Um, like for example, the dual air here is very much kind of more slanted outward that way. And then the other one next to it is again, kind of the same sort of slant, but then the one next to it's kind of more upright. So it's kind of similar in that respect too. It's just something I noticed when I was going through this earlier. Anyway, I'll close that down. Okay, so there is our water air raid armor. Water fire just previous, the Dragon Void I was talking about, Dragon Void's reskin with the head of the harmonic on it was the was the other raid armor. <laughs> Gets a copyright strike, yeah. I just rather avoid it, <laughs> given the option. This one is very tall, but not very wide. So this is going to be about 250. There we go. Yeah, so that's going to be about there. Very narrow side to side, but taller. About the average height, most armors around 250 to 270. Okay, so this is armor number three. Ta-da. Now we're going to go on to water and fire. I'm pretty sure, like I said, this is the fusion armor for next month. The, the on element, I should say, fusion armor, the one that actually matches the other elements of the month. The, I'm trying to remember what the, what the fusion armors are, the off elements are like, I think it's two months behind, something like that. So <clears throat> it's two months or three months behind. Um, the, the off element, quote unquote, fusion armor of the month, usually the first one, is an element that does not match the rest of that month. So this is the one that does match, of course. There we go there. Um, but yeah, the other one I want to say it's two or it's either two or three months behind. Can't remember for sure. But they never include that in the data mine, of course, because it's just a reused armor from from before. Usually something reborn, whatever the name of that armor originally was. Sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's a raid boss armor. Sometimes it's a, it's actually been a seasonal, I think, even once or twice, but an older seasonal from you know way back when. And there's even been some that were originally dragon forged couple of times. Okay, there's that one. You can kind of see what that looks like before I add anything else to it. Yeah, it's around there. I can't remember how many there have been, but there haven't been a lot. But more often than not, it's just a reused raid boss or occasionally war armor from before. Like the Mecha Mallet Reborn, for example, was a seasonal from season 6 or 7, something like that. But it was uh, made into dual, dual spirit instead of spirit water. And it was also, coincidentally, the very first fusion armor that had a quote-unquote plus version, which they just called it enhanced. At the time, anyway. They just called it Mecha Mallet Reborn, or Mecha Mallet Reborn ENH. So it's basically kind of the equivalent of a plus version, but you could only get it through the fusion process with a catalyst armor, which is standard now, but it wasn't then. It was something they were kind of experimenting with, and it became popular enough that they kept it. Yeah, I think I have it on one of my accounts, too from forever ago. So there's our fusion armor. Oops, zoomed up too far. There we go. Is the audio sounding okay for everyone? Is it is it, is it loud enough that you can actually hear me fairly well? Because I had to mess with my settings since the last live stream to see if it actually would work properly. I had to add a, a gain to my, to my voice as well as a, a noise... a gain, sorry, G-A-I-N, which is basically like a boost. And then I also added a noise gate to kind of trim down some of the noise I was getting in the videos as well. Okay, cool. I just wanted to be sure because I'm not talking really abnormally, you know, loudly. I'm just kind of talking with my normal vol my normal volume. Okay, anyway, so this is armor four, water fire. I do it male so frequently I almost out of habit just hit, hit M when I'm typing instead of F because I'm doing females this time around. This one, I'm pretty sure, is a war armor. So just so people are aware. So the war, water and earth we saw earlier, that one's going to be a war armor as well. And this is So it's water, earth, water, spirit for wars, water, air, water, fire for raids. Then we have the usual seasonals, and then we have the uh, water, fire, uh, fusion. And then this month we also have the two event armors. So we have the usual nine, plus the two event armors. But I still don't know what the plan is with last month's, um, that, that kind of random armor that was just, there was no explanation as to what it was used for. This one right here, this air water. I don't know what the plan is for that one, so we'll have to just wait and see. There have been armors that weren't used at all, so it's not abnormal for that to happen, it's just really, really rare. 
I don't think they're... I, I haven't heard anything specific about it. Maybe it's the, the Player of the Month award? I don't know. Who knows? Because I certainly don't. <clears throat> Anyone other outside of DECA probably doesn't know. Anyway. I do like the look of this armor. Um, actually, quite a lot. It's got these cool horns on the helmet and then this little flame coming off the back. And I just like the look of it. It has almost, almost like a like a rib cage sort of look to the, the bottom of the chest plate. I just think it looks cool. I like it. And the face is kind of skull-like, so kind of fits that motif. All right, shield. Shield. There we are. Getting distracted. <laughs> what was I doing? I forgot what I was doing. Brain cramp. Engage. Okay. Um, so there's that armor. And then we got the shield, which covers up, sadly, most of that shoulder, but not the spikes at the top, which is good. And we have this massive, like spiky looking sword with like these weird spiky flamey bits coming off the sides of it gotta trim I gotta blend that hand in for sure that wrist is all blended over there clean that up a little kind of like so there we go I can kind of clean up that edge of that handle so I can blend that in with the rest of it which is right here oops Ta-da! There's that one. That's also going to be a pretty wide armor, just looking at the size of that weapon. It's going to be pretty wide. Because the shield itself is relatively small, which is weird, because usually shields are so massive. This one's not that big. What about there? So how wide is this? Oh, not that bad. I thought it would be wider. 300. About the average. Armor 5, water spirit... Armor 6, which is our golden version of the event armor. Usually the quote-unquote better version. Although with this last deck, of, deck anniversary um, event, we had three armors in total, not, not two. So we had the, the regular armor, which was Aaron... Or excuse me, Earth and Air, and then we had an Earth and Spirit variant, and then we had a dual Star Metal variant, which people people kind of laughed about the um, the Spirit or the Earth and Air and the Earth and Spirit looks being reversed, basically, like the one that should have been the Earth and Spirit was the Earth and Air, and vice versa, like it looked backwards, which I kind of agree with because the one that was Earth and Spirit looked more Air, and the Earth and Air looked more Spirit. It had kind of more of that purpley color to it. I don't know if that was intentional or if they were just you know person who was putting it together maybe got the, the armors reversed on accident. I really don't know, but it definitely looked backwards. So here is armor number one of the event armors. Kind of a cool looking, almost robot-like look to it with like these kind of feathery looking spikes or gills. That's no, not feathers, sorry, it's gills. Kind of a small shield. It has kind of these gills coming off the top of the head, or not gills, but um, fins. Sorry, I'm thinking of the wrong word. And the, this finned weapon, too. It has like these fins coming off the side of it. It is a cool looking weapon. Yeah, I, I didn't even bother. I did the first quest on one account. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I mean, I got the milestones and whatnot with all the materials, and then I ended up just going into the limited shop and exchanging it for silver coins and, you know, and bait, but I didn't bother. Because once I cleared the first quest and then I saw the second quest as I had to grind and get more of the um, the really rare spawn, I was like, nope, I'm not even going to bother. There's no point to it. No point at all. Yeah, it's a, definitely a weird looking axe, but it's like a, it has like, like fins like a fish. Okay, there's that one. So there's the golden, quote unquote, version of the armor. But again, it's not very wide, which is strange, because sometimes the event armors are really big, and sometimes they're not. 225. Yeah, this one's another one of those ones that's taller than it is wide, which doesn't happen very much. Armor 6. Okay, back to here. Now I'll go to number 7, number 8, number 9, 10, and 11.
Yeah, I didn't want to even spend the time. It was just, I didn't have that much time to begin with. I mean, my free time is not exactly very much nowadays. Mm. I forgot to close it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So this one is 8, 9, 10, 7, and 11. Okay. All right. And here's what I believe to be the water air seasonal. This has a lot of edges that need to be cleaned up on this one right there and right there. All right. <clears throat> so there's a little bit of a, a bleeding edge right there and a little bit of one right there. Kind of clean those up a little bit so it looks a little cleaner. All right. Yeah, on the quest, I was like, nope, I'm not even going to try. It took me like... I think a total of like an hour and a half to do the first quest, but it wasn't like straight through. I ended up having to do it on a few different occasions, but it was just it was just a little extreme to me that I was like, no, I'm not going to bother. There's just no point. Once I got the second quest, I went, nope, I've only seen that guy once in the last hour and a half. I'm not going to spend the next six or seven or eight hours, <laughs> however long it takes, to get the other one. Because there was only like ten of them or something, but I was like, no way. There's no way I'm going to spend that kind of time. No way at all. So there's that, and this is a very odd-looking armor, I must say. It's cool in its own way, but it's very strange kind of in the design of it. Like, it has, like, these weird kind of curly cue looking things, like, coming off of the arms. And I don't know if you call them curly cues. It's probably the wrong word, but it looks a little weird to me, anyway. It has almost, like, these, like, ribbon-looking things coming off of the shoulders, which I guess is kind of cool, but it's just a very odd design all in all. <clears throat> Shield's kind of cool. Has like these kind of feather bits coming off the top of it as well. Off the top sides, I should say. And then we gotta get this edge cleaned up as well. A little bit no, not there at the bottom. Oh, right here on the side. Clean that up a little bit too. Okay, that looks better. And then of course this shield covers up almost that entire side. <laughs> Which is silly to me that they're that big, but they sh also shouldn't be too small. And then this massive axe-looking thing that has these, like, I don't know what you'd call those, like these additional kind of bladed-looking things, like fins, almost, coming off the side. I like the glove, though. It makes it handy to blend that in with the other one. It just lays right on top of it. And then I come into here and just clean up that edge a little bit so I can blend in the rest of the handle over here. which is going to be a very long handle indeed. Because so I can do this and just kind of line that up like so. Ta-da! Seven to ten spawns an hour, no thanks. <laughs> that is why I stopped. That's the exact reason why I stopped when I did. Because I knew it was going to be a grind. And I don't have the kind of free time to be able to grind like that. I mean, I can spend an hour here and there, but I'm not going to be able to spend that kind of time, like what you'd actually need to spend to get it done. Whoops. There we go. Get that kind of in the middle there. Armor 7. And here we have the regular version of the event armor, the non-golden. covering up part of the chat so I couldn't see it that well so I wanted to move it out of the way. This is a weird one. So for some reason this has happened maybe 20 times in the past few years. There's no neck sort of piece to kind of line up with the head and so you kind of have to just guesstimate where it's going to go. Like there's no like separate neck kind of area to blend if that makes sense. Like if I go to here and I zoom in you can kind of see a neck area there like this little cutout sort of. This doesn't happen very often, but this is one of those cases. Like, there's a blend there, but there isn't here. So you kind of have to kind of guesstimate where it's going to go. So I'm going to guess it's right about there, but it's just weird. I don't see that very often. Like I said, it's maybe 20 times in the past three plus years that I've seen that. So it's not very common. But it's usually, for whatever reason, only on one of the, the gender versions, I guess you could say. Sometimes it's on the male, sometimes it's the female. It does seem to be more common on female for whatever reason, though. I don't know why. Um, but it's just random. 
doesn't happen very often, and when it does, it's just that one armor, and then it doesn't happen again for, you know, another, you know, few months or a year or whatever. Just every so often that pops up. So there's that one. So this is the regular version of the event armor, like I said, like three times now. Like I said, just trying to avoid there being dead air. Because <clears throat> if you listen to, like, podcasts or anything like that, and you have that moment of dead air, it's, it's one of my biggest pet peeves. You should never have dead air if you have the option. <laughs> if you're, you know, if you're doing, a, like, a live stream or if you're doing a podcast or whatever, you should never have dead air, or if you do, it should only be for a second or two at most. It should not be for an ex extended period of time. That looks better. Okay, where's that handle? There it is. Got to clean up the I was going to say I got to clean up the bottom edge of that handle, but it's going to be behind the armor for the most part. Oh, well, maybe not. It does have a little bit of a sticky outy bit right there. Okay. Well, just a little bit. There we go. I'm trying to zoom out just to the right point. It wouldn't scroll. Oops. Move. Move, not erase. Right about there. This one should be about 2.45. Yep, there we go. Keep that kind of centered. Armor 8. And here's armor number 9. I zoomed in on it already, but um, like, I, like I said earlier, this one has a very clearly defined kind of neckline right there. You can kind of see where the head would normally be. That other one I just had before didn't. It had just kind of a, an opening at the top of the neck with nothing else really to kind of indicate where anything else would attach to it. This one's a little easier to line up because it does have that kind of separation. You can kind of line that up like right there. See, it, it kind of just lines up on its own. Looks like Megatron. <laughs> Are you talking about the Transformers in Megatron? Like the bad guy? The head of the Decepticons. And just for reference, that was a, that cartoon was new when I was a kid, the original, <laughs> years and years ago, back in the eighties. that one. It's a massive armor. I like it. I like the look of that armor. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's back in my back in my childhood years. That was when the first Transformers cartoons came out. Same with like He-Man and I did mention He-Man earlier, that kind of magician looking armor. Um, I can't remember what the, what the magician's name was. He was like a little sorcerer dude, but he was one of the guys that was one of the characters in the show. Um, that's why that name or that why that armor kind of stuck out to me. Because both that armor and last month's armor that has not as, as yet been used had that same kind of look to them, like the head. Not really so much the armor, but the head, you know. Because the character in the, in the original cartoon was just a little dude with like this, had that kind of a face, but his, um, he had just a cape. That was it, like a cloak that went over him. That was it, basically. That doesn't look right to me. I guess that is where it goes. It just looks a little funky to me. Eh, it doesn't look right still. There we go. It looks a little better. Just the handle looked off to me for some reason. Okay. Okay. And move you up to about here. Okay. And how wide are you? Oh wow, that's a pretty wide one. 310. Not as wide as they have, as some of them have been, but that's still pretty wide. Armor... S 9? Yeah. Lost track of what I was doing for a second there. Lost track of where I was in the list of armors. Okay, so here is our water and earth. Pretty sure this is seasonal. chest plate and the arm in the back. Kind of line that one up like so. Get the 
legs. And kind of go like that. And the other arm. I like how this one kind of has like that kind of mohawk look to it with a, kind of that little point coming forward. Kind of almost reminiscent of like a gladiator helmet. That kind of, you know, kind of like 300, if you've seen that. Not exactly the same, of course, but just kind of similar because it has that kind of mohawk looking thing coming out the front. Anyway, there's that armor and the shield. Covers it up. <laughs> and then we have this humongous blade. Massive thing. A little ridiculous, if you ask me, but. We are playing a fantasy game after all, so it can be a little bit kind of silly here and there. Okay, there's that. I'm going to clean up the edge of that weapon, the handle. And then we'll grab this guy down here. And drop it in. Like so. Ta da! That's a tall one. I can tell already that's going to be a tall armor just because of the height of that weapon. Move you up to about there. And how wide are we here? 282. Wow. That's pretty wide. This is armor 10, I want to say. Yep. We are almost done with this part anyway. I gotta take my watch off. It's rubbing my wrist wrong. Okay. <clears throat> now we have the female version of the exclusive. Kind of looks like a little kind of robotic to me. But again, the weapon's kind of tiny. I'm not really sure what I think about that. Kind of like the dual air for this month. The weapon's kind of small compared to the ones that are, you know, the other ones for like the seasonals or the even, even the event armors. Kind of like big by comparison. <laughs> I don't know. Seems a little small. It's a cool looking armor though. I like the look of it has these kind of bluish looking eyes like almost looks like gems and then these kind of like blue like cables or something that connects the the head like kind of like almost like a face mask with like tubes for like breathing underwater sort of this looks like ice almost so there is the legs and I've got to clean up the edge of that foot a little bit there's that and then we have the arm, which has these kind of like, like pressure valve, like um, that you can turn, like rotate and release pressure or increase pressure or whatever. I'm trying to think of the, the name for them. I'm having total brain cramp. Valves. There we go. Valves. I have like the little valves coming off the sides there. So there's that one. Move it up just a hair. There we go. There's our dual water exclusive. Then we have our shield, which is down here. This shield is going to go right about there. Thankfully not covering up a lot of that armor. I like that. Would you mind making the male with cape as well? Yeah, I could do that. I planned on making the, you know, the I planned on making the cape version of it anyway. But I can do that, yeah. Throw this down here. Oops, don't rotate it, dummy. Kind of clean up this edge a little bit. There, just a hair. And then we'll grab the handle down here. And kind of throw this in. Like so. So there's the female, anyway. And I will really quickly save this one first. This is really honestly a kind of a tiny armor in comparison to the other ones. 220 wide, 230 tall. Wow, that's tiny. Okay. Okay, let me jump back to here. Whoops, wrong folder. I moved my folder into the way again, so I can't see the chat. Let's do this one, and then we'll throw the 
the um, cape behind it. Gonna try to get that to line up. It looked a little odd to me for some reason. I moved it back. I was like, okay, never mind. It looked fine like it was. <laughs> move it down, move it up, move it down. This one also has a foot that needs to be cleaned up as well. There we go. And then we'll get the arm right there. Okay, see you, IST. Thanks for joining in. Keep getting these random, like, little graphical issues, like, off the sides there for some reason. I'm not even copying them into the original image anywhere. There's nothing. Oh, I guess there was a little bit from that effect down there. It's like, where is that coming from? But it's like appearing here, and there's nothing there. I don't know. Whatever. Just Windows being goofy again, apparently. Okay, this is going to go right about here. Okay, and we get the... Maybe zoom this back out a little bit. Move you over here. I'm going to go back to our cape folder and edit this one. And I'm going to take this one, which is the kind of more expanded one, like if you're in battle, as opposed to the kind of more, you know, retracted one, more narrow one. Uh, and I'm going to put this in a new layer behind this. Kind of try to line it up. i just swap these two really fast so I can see where it is. It needs to be a little bit further down. Let me look at the other image really fast, just to see roughly where it sits. Yeah, it does kind of go like roughly right around the head then. Okay. So it needs to be right about there. And we'll take this and we will shorten it out to be, let's see what we got here, 296. Wow, a lot taller. 345. Oops. Oh, good lord. Lost track of what I was doing. Okay, so 300 by 345. Looks pretty good. Okay. Oops, I did not want to do that. I wanted to save it as 11 nail 2 with cape, just so I have that saved. And then I'm going to resize it to be about 225, make it much smaller so it'll actually fit on the screen better. Okay, done. All right. Now... Moving on, we're going to go check what my last one, the size of my last one was, which was 1700 by 1150. Let's do a new one. I'm going to make this by 1400 just to give myself a bit more room to work with. And we're going to go with... Um, let's do a new layer. It's going to be in the background. I'm going to go from about the 350 mark-ish down to the 700-ish mark down here. That'll work. So there's our line for the for the armors. If I can go back to here. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> um, so we're going to go back to our folder here where I've put everything in, the, in this folder here. We're going to start laying these guys out. Whoops, don't stop. Ah, I hate when it does that. Computer's alt tabbing in the wrong place. So this should be on top of that line, right? Yeah, okay, good. So that's a humongous armor. This one's 
mm, kind of average size, basically. I just don't want it to overlap the other one. There we go. And we have this tiny armor, which is going to go nicely right next to that. <laughs> and we have another armor that's relatively large, about kind of normal size. I, again, don't want it to overlap the other one. I want to just snug it up against the edge of it. We have our water spirit, which is pretty large. And then our water fire event armor, which should fit nicely at the end. Put that right about there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a similar layout to what I did last month, where I had the six on the top and then the five kind of gapped right below them. Like one here, one here, one here, you know, that kind of in-between sort of layout. All right. <clears throat> so we got it here, number one. Seven, which is our again our seasonal most likely. Zoom in here a little bit so I can get these lined up a little easier. Keep in mind, of course, these are the female versions of these armors, so they are going to be slightly shorter. So I'll have a bit more room above, like where the ring and amulet set would normally go. I'm going to have more room up there to fit these, fit things in in between them. I usually make this these this box kind of 350-ish because that gives me enough room to put the armor in there, even if it's kind of tall, and still have room for the ring and amulet set. I might have to scooch that one in a little closer, depending on how the other ones lay out. But I, you, know, you know, the water, dual water is very tiny compared to some of these other ones, so it probably isn't a big deal. But I'm probably going to move these two over slightly because it's going to make the water, the dual water down here, kind of stick off to the right a little bit too much, maybe. Yeah, maybe not. You see? No, I definitely need to move those over. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this, I'm move you over about like that. Then I'm going to move you and you over as well, so you're a little bit closer. So you're kind of more lining up where you should be. And then I can move the dual water over just a hair. Like about like that. That looks better, I think. But I need to move the entire set now. <laughs> I'm, getting I'm getting a little too particular about this. There we go. That looks much better to me. Okay, so here's my predictions really quick before we move on. So. Water Earth, very first one, is going to be War. Then we have Raid, Raid, these two next to each other, Raid. Fusion, War, Event, um, Seasonal, Event, Seasonal, Seasonal, Exclusive. So the Seasonals are, for the most part, on the bottom row. <laughs> Actually, they're all in the bottom row, except for this one event armor kind of in the middle of them. So Water, 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 Earth, Water, Spirit, Water, Air. So there's our seasonals at the bottom, then we have event, event, war, fusion, raid, raid, war. In that order. I went, I went one way and then I went back the other way. Okay, let's get some stuff added on here. Got our, our amulet there. And our ring, which again are the original ring and amulet that went with this armor when it was originally released. I'm still drawing a blank on the name of the armor, I can't remember it now. I think about it for a while, I'll, I'll remember. Not there. Deep Rift Crusader. There it is. Why do I never properly line them up? Do you mean the armors? I'm only not lining them up this time because there's 11. What, what do you mean side by side? Are you talking about the um, what are you talking about the armors, the an ring and amulets, or what are you talking about exactly? I'm confused. Oh, element wise, I, I just put them in the order they come out in the files. By the very first armor that appeared in the files, as far as like the size of it, was the very first armor. This water air earth over here on the far right, or the far left, I mean. And then the next biggest in line after that one was this one, then that one, then that one, and just the size of the actual images. That's the way they come out when you extract them from the files. They come out in order or in order by size. So my very largest armor as far as size is concerned is the water and earth. This guy over here on the far left. The total like image size is the biggest one. I should say biggest as far as size of the file itself. So if I go down to here to, I'll just show you as an example here. If I go to um, the mail here, that one is 100 kilobytes. This one here is 87.5, this one's 70.3, etc. They're just kind of done in order of the way they come out in the images, the original images when they come out of the files. 
That's just the way I've always done them. I mean, I could put them in order of elements, but eh. <laughs> Not really much point, in my opinion, to doing that. Because they're already, you know, I've already got an order and kind of the way I do it has always been the same way, so I just kind of maintain the way I've always done it. Okay, there's that one. Then we have our golden event armor, which is going to be that little dude there. And that little dude there. Ta-da! We're going to go back over to here to our water and air. That's a very clear match on the amulet. Because it looks just like the head. <laughs> exactly like the head. And then the ring, of course, looks, has the same kind of color scheme. It actually looks a lot like this part of the part of the handle right here. Or the part of the weapon, rather. Okay, so there's that one. Now we will do the amulet for our non-golden, the regular version, of the event armor. Like about like that. That about like that. And then we have our water and earth. About like that. And then we have our dual water. About like that. And about like that. Ta-da! There it is. Let me save this really quick before I move on. Because inevitably if I don't, I will forget to and then I'll lose something. Because I've been known to do that before. I had to redo the whole thing one time. It was not very much fun. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be August. There we go. Okay, just so I can save it so I'm not losing anything. Okay, <clears throat> now let's do our elements, which I do need, in fact, for my other window. Right there. So we're going to start off with air. I'm going to zoom in here. Let's do a new layer, actually. Move this down to here, like about like so. And then down here. And then we'll go on to earth, which is this guy up at the top. Can't really get that one up snug like I can the other one because it has this kind of like bottom edge of this thing draped around it. <clears throat> Can't get it quite as close as I want to. And then this one down here, which will be right about where I want it to be. A little closer. And then we can do fire, which there are four of them. Fire right here. Fire right here. do spirit, which is this one up here. Where'd it go? I pasted it, didn't I? Apparently I did not. There we go. That was weird. It just didn't appear when I hit paste. Make sure it didn't appear somewhere else and mess up my picture. No, oh, looks fine. Okay. Got kind of paranoid there for a second, thinking it got like laid on top of something like that. <laughs> Messed the whole thing up. Okay, there's spirit, and now everything else is water. Did it again. Thank you. Dumb thing. Stop fighting me. Just work with me here. forget something. <laughs> and just double check and 
make sure I didn't forget any. Oh, good. Okay, there we go. Save that really quick again before I move on. Okay, so now I'm going to start working on the rest of the things here. So if I go to here, okay, we're going to zoom in roughly about here. Oops, I forgot we still have something highlighted. There we go. Think about like that. This one I think I usually do in 28, if I remember correctly. I made that box, of course, too big, which is pretty normal for me to do. So we'll just take this and we'll move it over. And delete the excess. Okay. Oops, I did not want to do that. I wanted to do this. Get this kind of selected there, and we're going to center this thing as close as I can. So it's actually not only just barely off center. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I'm never usually that good. <laughs> it doesn't look perfectly centered, of course, because it isn't. But well, rather it is, but the armors aren't, so it makes it look a little off. But it is in fact centered. Okay, <clears throat> now we can go back to my folder here, get material number one, drop it right down about here, Oops. and then go back to here and get this one and drop it right down around about here. Right up on the edge of that thing. There we go. So there are the materials. Now, let's move on to the bosses. We'll throw those in here really quick. I'm going to create an entirely new layer as well for the rest of this stuff. We're going to be about there, I think. Move you up there. You can go right about there. It lines up. Looks like it to me. Okay. <clears throat> now I want to center these as well. So if I go to here, up to about here, I can now center that as well. And it gets only slightly off. Ta-da. There's them. And now I'm going to throw the elements down, which I have forgotten the last couple of live streams. I've done it after the fact, but I forgot them entirely. Well, the reason why I wasn't copying into the folder is because when I was copying and pasting, I was pasting into the folder I copied out of, so it made a copy of each one. That's why I wasn't showing. Okay, so water. I zoom in here, put water right here. Get you right about there. Another one. Right about there. Kind of want to make them evenly spaced. And then we have fire over here, about like that, which I can probably move these down a hair too, there we go, and then we'll do air, and the one on the other side, which can go right about there, we'll space them out again roughly the same, okay, and then we'll move them down just a few as well. Kind of make them line up and make them look like they belong there. <clears throat> okay, now it's time for the cape. Oops, I'm in the wrong folder again. Cape, I'm gonna put you, oh for crying out loud, stop that. Put you over here, and then we will come back to here and we'll grab this guy, we'll drop him in, right about like that. So you can kind of see what it looks like. And I'm gonna move this actually up just a little bit. So I have room to put my little text box below it. Like about like y'all. So it kind of all fits in this corner sort of area. Like so. Okay, now we're gonna get our bosses. Or sorry, I got like bosses, I mean pets. We're going to take tier one. I'm just debating on how I'm going to line this up because I need to look at my last one. So I think I did <clears throat> put them all kind of side by side. I don't think I'm going to have enough room for it here. But I'm going to try it anyway. Tier one. Zoom in here a little bit so I can see a little better on my alignment. 
Actually, let's put it down there. There we go. We'll put tier two. Put it about there. Tier three. There, I might have room. Never mind. Hush my mouth. And then tier five. Ooh, it's cutting it close. <laughs> Almost got there, but not quite. There's tier five. Cool. So it is going to fit. Nice. Okay. So I'm. Gonna, I forget this is on a separate layer, so it's not going to actually go over the top of it. I am going to move them down. Just a little bit, though. I don't like them being quite that close. There we go. Okay, now it's time for the primals, which, again, I'm pretty sure these are primals. I can't guarantee it, of course, but they look like they would be to me. Because they look, of course, similar enough to the original ones above them, but they're just a different color scheme. And I have, of course, the enhanced abilities compared to their regular quote-unquote versions. And there's that one. Four and finally tier five. There's our pets. I'm gonna have to probably shorten this up, of course, because it's probably a little too tall at this point, but that's okay. And then box. I'm gonna go down to here. We're gonna make it just a little box here. Doesn't need to be huge. I made it too big. <laughs> Figures. <coughs> okay, let's move you over. so. And then I'm just going to kind of center this in its own little area here by the pets. About like that. And we'll do another text box right here. Good enough. And then we will get this guy and center him as well. There is pretty centered. And then I've just got my chest, my other materials, and the key. So I may have to actually make this bigger. I may have to actually keep this lower space. I just don't know I'm going to fill up with it. <laughs> I might actually spread these guys out. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll get to that in a second. Okay. Now we got our, whoops, got our chest. Actually, I need to edit that. I need to edit this guy. <clears throat> because I need just this portion here. I don't need the, oh, the actual opened chest. I need just this portion here. Copy new. And let's make it 500. So this is going to be our chest. And I am going to slightly shrink this down because it doesn't need to be this big. Because that's awfully big for the size of this. If I were to just drop this in here, you can see how big that is. It's huge. <laughs> it doesn't need to be that big. So I'm going to resize this down to, let's do 400. Let me just take this portion here. I don't need the whole thing. Oops. See how big this looks now. Oops. That's still pretty huge. I'm going to resize it again. Let me undo that resize. Okay. Resize to 350. Just want to see what it looks like in size here. That's a lot better. And I can't, that actually gives me more room to put the like materials and stuff for the other event, event materials over here anyway. It's going to work. Okay. That's going to work for now. Now I can close you. Close you. Now I'm going to grab the key. We're going to put the key roughly right around there. Put it just up a little bit so I can put chest and key right here in the little box. Done. Select stuff. There we go. And you. There we go. I know this is just a thrill a minute watching me do this. <laughs> Let me just center that. I didn't make that box big enough. Bummer. Try again, this time with less failure. There we go. better. Okay. Now I can move this 
this over just a little bit. Like that. And then I can still shorten it up to here. Okay, good. Now we're going to go back and get our other folder. Dummy. Stop that. Other materials. Keep all tapping in the wrong window. We're going to throw these guys down here, kind of below the pets. And just kind of put them side by side. Like so. That star looks a little off. that and we're going to put another box right about there oops I didn't put my little backfill there we go I want to make this kind of I'm going to draw a little arrow inside there. Uh, there we go. Kind of go like this. And rotate the thing around backwards. Ta da! <coughs> okay, there we go. Where are we at here? We are, in fact, mostly done. Um, so let me backfill. I need to go back into the background here and fill these in. There we go. And I'm going to shorten this up to about 1300, well, 1250 ish. Let me shorten this. Height is 1250. Yeah, much better. Okay. <coughs> and I'm going to also move these guys just a little bit down so they're not right on top of the stuff above it. And then I'll put my information here and then the usual stuff around. Okay, so now I need to go to here. So this is first row, second armor. Put this to here. I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit on the text size. I'm going to go first row, second armor. Whoops. And then here is going to be first row, third armor. that and then I can change this out to my other color I had a feeling that was going to be too wide fingers would cooperate, that would be excellent. That's fine, I can shorten that up a little bit, it doesn't have to be perfect. Right there, and then I need to, well, bear with me for just a second, I need to compare that to this one. In my other window. Okay, season 61 water, got it, okay. Now we're going to do this here. Season 61, water. I'm going to make that text a little bit larger, just so it's going to grab your attention a bit. Then I'll hover over this. We're going to add a little effect to it to make it kind of pop. That's it. Done. Done, 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 ski. I only have four people online with me right now, <laughs> according to what Twitch says anyway. <laughs> That's fine. I'm basically done anyway. So, one final time. War, raid, raid, fusion, war, event, seasonal, event, seasonal, seasonal, exclusive. Ta-da! That's it for this month. Um, I don't know... Actually, I just realized this is... I just jacked this all up somehow. This thing down at the bottom. i got to fix it now. Um, I don't know how I did that, but I did. Change you back to 26... Um, back to right. Oh, it's because I changed the alignment before I moved off. I'll delete that. Start again. Okay. August. There we go. That's better. Kind of center that in that little opening. 
All right. So that's it for now. Um, as I said um, earlier on in the, in the video, I don't know what the future, future may hold. I'm At this point in time, I'm just going to hold out for the remainder of the month and see how I feel. Um, if I'm feeling a little better in August, I may stick around for a while. But truth with this has been going on for a couple of years now. It's an ongoing thing that has never really gotten fully resolved. So I'm just debating on whether or not I want to continue. But if I do stop, a lot of things will stop. So just so people are aware that it is something I've been thinking about. It's something that may still happen. I don't know yet. But for now, I'm here. For, I'm still here. But that may change in the near future. So we are at about a minute 45, which is pretty average for these live streams. But we are now done. Thanks, everyone, who joined in. And have a good rest of your weekend. See ya.